Hey guys, welcome back to BD Investing. Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can improve your credit score. So guys, first things first, I just wanna mention this is the BS free side of YouTube. No bullshit. Okay, everything I know about finance, I'm gonna teach you guys without all the bullshit, without all the big words. And we're gonna try to keep all of this simple. So just so you guys know that I'm not just making a YouTube video, here's my credit score, it's at 788. Listen, people say 500 is a good score, 600 is a good score. No, you need at least 700, 800, or 900 to actually get a good loan with low interest, okay? So this is my this is my score. It's on Trans uh, TransUnion on the Scotia Bank app. And as you can see, I did have an 815 score. Now it is down to 788 because I did uh, make some inquiries for mortgages. The first rule is to pay your bills on time. No, pay your bill. I don't know why people wait a month or weeks to pay off your credit card. Why are you paying the minimum payments? That's not gonna do you any good. A credit card company, they want to see if you are eligible to get these loans. Why would someone give you a loan of 10,000, 100,000, million, if you can't even make your dues on time? Yeah, sure, they give you that one month to pay your bills, but guess what? That's a test and you're failing. So. Anytime I, anytime I use my credit card, I try to pay it off within a week or two, maximum two weeks, but I always, I always pay by a week, okay? The whole point for you to get a good credit score is you wanna show that you can pay off your bills and, and your loans anytime in, in any moment. The second one is credit utilization. So what does that mean? Just because they give you 10K does not mean you have to use the full 10K. All right, guys, the best practice is to use 10 to 20%. So if I have a $10,000 credit card, I'll try to, the maximum I'll use is $1,000 to $2,000. Because let's say I came to you to ask for a 10K loan, okay? And you give me the 10K loan and Right away, I go off and I start spending. I spent 1K here, 1K here, 5K here, 2K here, and you saw that this guy spent the full 10K. Now, imagine you were the credit card company, okay? And you saw this kind of behavior, this impulsive behavior, just spending money here and here. Sure, you'll come and give me back the 10K, you'll pay it back, but if I came back a week later and asked for the same 10K, would you be like, oh yeah, here, here's the 10K. You'd probably, ask for more of an interest rate or you'd be a little bit more hesitant in loading that type of money so think about it from the credit cards co credit card company's perspective now the third tip we're going to be talking about is having multiple credit cards so a good rule of thumb is to have two or three credit cards why this might sound like a bad idea but listen to me okay guys the reason why you want more than two to three credit cards is because you want to build your credit card history with each company so I'm not saying just have three credit cards. I want you to have three credit cards with multiple companies, meaning American Express, Visa, uh, MasterCard, also maybe different banks, Scotia, TD, whatever. This way you're building credit card history with each company. But why is it important to build credit card history? Well, because it makes it easier for an institution or a bank to look at your history and see if you're a good spender or has your credit history and it's easier for them to give you a loan. So the, the rule of thumb is to have six to seven years of credit card history and that's why it's important to not uh, delete any of your accounts or cancel any of your credit cards and to always own a credit card for more than six to seven years. That way you have a bulletproof credit card history and you're able to get all these loans for a way, way less and cheap interest rate. So guys, that's three rules right there for you guys to improve your credit card score. So let's go over it. Pay your bills on time. Don't use all your credit and have multiple credit cards. Simple. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you use any of these rules or maybe you guys have your own tips. Why don't you leave that in the comments? And guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and also comment, okay? It goes a long way and it helps the channel.